I'd like to start off with questions. Uh, Alex is going to be the first uh, question, and if you could say who that's going to be. Okay, um, Kevin, we'll send this to you first. Our friend the speaker is called a bully and worse on a daily basis. <laughs> uh, what names are Democratic politicians or others calling you that distort or oversimplify what you're all about and why are they wrong? Well, I think that, you know, perhaps the biggest distortion that I think the other side likes to make of conservatives is that uh, we don't necessarily care for the poor and the most vulnerable and the most needy when we talk about making sure that we're running a, a tight fiscal ship and being responsible as conservatives. And quite frankly, I'm tired of hearing that because I think we do know that we care for our most poor, our most vulnerable, and our most needy. So that's a big distortion that they put out there. You know, one of the things that I did when I was at Health and Human Services is I recognized that the need was a lot greater than what the state could actually handle and shoulder that burden. So what I did is I worked with Commissioner Stephen at, at that time, and we came up with the Office of Faith-Based and Community Initiatives, where we reached out to the private sector and to the nonprofit sector to try to fill in that gap so that we could offer, offer more services to those that were in need through private sector solutions and not always looking to the government to do everything. And I think we frankly need more of that kind of leadership in Concord and someone that's going to call out the Democrats when they try to make those particular distortions on us. Good, and then I'll read what you can answer. Thank you. Well, thank you thank for that you. question. So those of you who were not here in the mid-90s, when the Concord Monitor is not the speaker, is nothing compared to what they've done to me. So I've been, I've been a beneficiary of some really creative cartooning. In fact, when I, was, I, when I was named Chairman of the State Board of Education, Mike Marlin, your friend, Mr. Speaker, uh, did a head and shoulder shot of me, uh, and like, like, dressed like this, except I was wearing glasses. And those glasses had stained glass windows in them. And the <laughs> caption was, I'll bring a fresh perspective to the school, public school system of New Hampshire. And then I was pictured with Governor Merrill standing next to Attorney General Howard in a Moscow outfit as if we were the Kremlin overseeing public schools. I'm planning to go on. <laughs> when I share in the pain that comes with public service when you stand on principle, I was proud to be named the Conservative of the Year by the Americans for Prosperity in 2011. Because those of you who know me know that I stand on principle. And that's what New Hampshire needs, principled leadership and tested leadership. And don't tell me conservatives don't have a heart. When you start hearing about how anti this and anti that I am, Betty and I have been foster parents of a special needs young man since he was two weeks old. And the reason she's not here is she's meeting with him. He's 24 years old right now, living in the community. Conservatives have a heart, and they act from that heart. And we'll stand with them every step of the way. So let's get on this team together, please. Thank you. Rock TV.